what is life? When we talk about it, there is often a kind of reverence, an awe, as if life were something added to matter, something extra, like a spark or a divine soul or an energy field. Life is more than just material, according to many, sadly even to some atheists. But what actually distinguishes something alive from everything else in the universe? Life can't just be a function of biological material, can it? It has to be something extra special. Sorry, but no. There is nothing more to being alive than having metabolic processes. According to Wikipedia, life is a characteristic that distinguishes objects that have signaling and self-sustaining processes, biology, from those that do not, either because such functions have ceased, death, or else because they lack such functions and are classified as inanimate. The dictionary defines life thusly. The condition that distinguishes organisms from inorganic objects and dead organisms, being manifested by growth through metabolism, reproduction, and the power of adaptation to environment through changes originating internally. That's all life is. Metabolic processes, organs, cells, working together for mutual benefit. When those biological functions cease, we're dead. When meat dies, so too do we die, as we are a byproduct of our brains, our head meats. Life is not nearly as special as it seems. Life is just chemicals that have fitted together in a mutually beneficial way, nothing more. Life is not some magical energy force imbued into material to make it walk and talk. And no matter how much we don't like it, no matter how unflattering we find this conclusion, we must bow to it if we have any respect for the facts, if truth is something that matters to us. So don't run on automatic. Please, think. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. You might also enjoy my webcomic, The Adventures of Kinira Baxter. You'll find a link in the info bar. Now rate this video, citizen, or we put you on the probulator.